Good day, my wire brethren. Today's tutorial is mostly about the accumulate node, but somehow escalated in a video on infinite values too. So strap in, you're in for a treat. The accumulate node is a node that, as the name suggests, accumulates data. This is very useful when you need to add or subtract a variable every frame or every event. Some examples that come to mind are custom time variables and incremental movement. When we look at the node, we see a single inlet and a single outlet. Accumulate works on integers, boolean and float types. Whatever type comes in will also come out. Booleans are the exception here as they will be converted to float. Just to give you a quick demonstration, I'll add a float node and set it to 1 and connect it to the accumulate node. When I hover over the outlet of the accumulate, we see that the output is quickly growing. Because we are working at signal flow, indicated by the circular in and outputs, the accumulation happens every frame. When we move over to the node panel, we can see that there is a hidden attribute here called reset. Hitting reset will set the node back to zero. By right clicking on the node, we can navigate to visibility and expose the reset trigger for use in our patch. Accumulate will work with either signal or event flow. Attribute flow will be accepted but is converted to signal flow. When working in event flow, we'll find an additional non-exposable attribute in the node panel called send on reset. This parameter is off by default, but once turned on, it will, when reset, send out the zero. The default behavior can be seen as a silent reset. Accumulate will be set to zero, but we won't send out the zero. In this first patch, I'm accumulating a flow to to be used as a coordinate for my rectangle shape. The flow to is generated by a random node, which is triggered by a metronome. This is a basic setup for a random walker patch. As we add both negative and positive values, we'll find our little rectangle moving around in a random fashion. Note that when I hit the reset button, it seems to take a while before the shape resets to the middle. This is because we're still in that silent reset mode I've described before. We can change this in the node panel. Now when I hit reset, it will send out a zero to the move node, instantly jumping the shape to the center again. In this second example, I've got a fractal noise node. Fractal noise is animated by modulating the X, Y and Z phase offset. In this example, I want to infinitely scroll to the Z phase and have control over the speed. Accumulate is here to the rescue. I will start by creating a float in node and renaming it to Z speed. Next, I plug this into an accumulate node. Now we could connect this to the phase offset of the fractal noise like this, but we will be modulating X, Y and Z at the same time. To prevent this, I'll create a float three node and connect the output of the accumulate to the Z element. Now we plug this into the phase offset and we've got what we want. As a little unrelated bonus tip, you might know that any Z speed beyond 0.1 is more or less the same chaos. Let me show you two ways to fix this. The easy way would be to select a node and in the node panel change the min and max parameters. But Wireman doesn't like his parameter running between seemingly arbitrary values. So I'll stick to 0 and 1 and add a divide node to divide the input by 100, giving me a much more interesting ranges of speed to work with. Those were some examples for the use of the accumulate node. Now some of you hyper nerds out there might be screaming at these examples. What about going infinite? I hear you Bruce Banner, take a chill pill and let me explain. From a theoretical, heavy emphasis on theoretical perspective, you could accumulate to a point where a value is so large that the wire language doesn't support it anymore. In the previous example, using a float value of 0.1, it takes quite a while for hitting that point. To be sort of maybe a little precise, it's 787 quintillion, 611 quadrillion, 860 trillion, 149,152 times the age of the universe, give or take 130,000 years. So don't worry, you, all your friends, the entire planet, and most likely our solar system will be destroyed before your patch hits infinity. Happy thoughts! But on the other hand, you might be accumulating much larger values and you want to build in some safety measures. So let me quickly show you how to detect an infinite value and how to handle this problem. First, we need to detect infinity. 
For this, we use the isInf node. Once this turns true, we want to reset the accumulate node. We're running at signal flow in this example, so we need to convert to event flow using the on change node. We don't want to reset on both false and true, so we add an if node. We take the trigger out of the true outlet and plug it into the reset of the accumulate node. Wire will create a one frame delay for the sake of world peace and we have created a safety measure for going infinite. Now we wait a very long time. All terrible jokes aside, the likelihood of you needing this system I just showed you is very low. We're talking about astronomically large numbers. Nonetheless, I thought it was an interesting subject to talk about. I hope you have learned something today and are ready to use the accumulate node in action. I'll leave this random walker patch in the video description for you to play with. This patch would be absolutely impossible to make without the accumulate node. Like the good boy I am, I also fully documented the patch so you can learn from it. Now it's time for me to say goodbye. Feel free to leave any existential questions in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one.